Hey guys, welcome back to Small Bits of Happiness YouTube channel. Do you want to have more friends? Not just friends, but actually good friends who care about you and will stick by your side and who are actually fun to spend time with. Today we're sharing our top three tips on how to make more and better friends. Remember, with friends, quality over quantity. Even one to two really great friends are better than a lot of not really good friends. Sometimes when making new friends, we might feel a bit uncomfortable or a little shy. But if we can push ourselves through that, and we'll explain how to later, you can make some really great friends. One, the three second rule. When you first see someone, whether it's at school, an extracurricular or an event or a party, decide within three seconds whether or not you're gonna introduce yourself. Why? Because after that, our brains start to come up with all the reasons why we shouldn't go up and talk to them. But if we just go for it, we'll expand our social circle, making more opportunities for potential friendships. Or even just someone to talk to while you're at the activity. When you go up to someone, ask them a question related to the place that you're at. For example, if you're at school, ask them a school-related question. If you're at an extracurricular, ask them an extracurricular-related question. For example, how long have you been doing blank? Do you do any other blank? Like, do you do any other sports or any other activities? Did you do any blank when you were little? I did blank. Any plans for later today? Any plans for the weekend? What school do you go to? Are you staying here next year? For more, check out our video on how to keep any conversation going, linked below. Side note, have an easygoing mindset. Some conversations might not turn into anything. I mean, not every person you talk to is gonna immediately become your best friend. Sometimes you might be able to tell whether there is potential for a friendship, especially if the conversation is smooth and you both seem to be enjoying it. But if it's kind of quick or you're just not getting those friend vibes, it's okay. You made an effort, you practiced being forward and learning and meeting new people, and it was a fun time, or at least some time well spent learning about a new person. Just like we mentioned in our past how to make more friends video, which is by the way, linked below, go into the conversation hoping just to have a nice conversation, not to meet your new best friend. Remember, the more people you approach, the more likely you are to find a friend or even just someone to talk to. Just remember to go into the situation wanting to have a nice conversation and learn about a new person. Two, invite them. I know that we often avoid asking people to hang out with us, especially people that we don't know really well. We might think that they're gonna say no, or they're gonna reject us, or they're gonna think that we're weird because we wanna hang out with them. But sometimes it's good just to take the risk because like we said earlier, taking the risk can lead to something great. If you don't know this person that well, you could tell them, hey, I'm going to the mall this weekend. Do you wanna come? Or you could say, hey, I'm going biking tomorrow with some friends and you live nearby. Do you wanna join? Invite them to do something casual, or you can invite them with people that you already know well. To try to prevent that stress of them saying no happening, you could try the three second rule again. Meaning once you decide to invite them, just invite them. Send them a text or ask the next time you see them without reevaluating the whole thing in your head. I know it's hard to be okay with them being busy, but also don't wait for the perfect moment. It's okay if they're busy while you go up to talk to them. Something that has really helped me with being afraid of someone declining my invitation is the five years perspective, which means in five years, could you still remember that so-and-so couldn't hang out with you? Probably not because it just doesn't matter that much. But in five years, you might still remember the good memories and fun times you had with them because you were able to push through your nerves. Three, Join based off friendship traits. The more people you meet, the more possibilities you create for yourself to meet good friends. Also, when you explore extracurriculars outside of school, you meet people that you already have something in common with, making it easier to start conversations. Now, here's a way to boost this hack and make it even better. Before signing up for extracurriculars, going out, or joining lunchtime clubs, think about what type of traits you want in a friend. For example, if you want a funny, kind, and caring friend, think about where these types of people hang out. Then, based off of the traits that you're looking for in a friend, sign up for or join that club or group. Thanks so much for watching. We hope that with these tips, you'll be able to take a few more risks and make some more really good friends. Comment down below gives you a small bit of happiness, Oreos or chocolate chip cookies. Also subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up and click the notification bell down below. Bye. Bye.